All right, good morning, great tens. Welcome back to school. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be running through the topic foundations. All right. Now, first thing we're going to be looking at is what is a foundation. As it relates to our field or area of study within building and furniture technology or construction, a foundation may be designed as um, the structure on which a building rests upon. Right? This is the lowest point of the building and it is responsible for transferring the load of the building so from the entire structure right, um, to a suitable and stable subsoil. Right? So that is the main function of the foundation. Now, there are several types of foundations, right? And we're going to be looking at these four main types one up on the board right here. First one is probably one of the most common types of foundations for domestic dwellings. So when you think of um, regular construction of houses, right? For living purposes, you think of the strip foundation, right? Um, the pipe foundation, this is similar to the strip foundation as well um, in the sense of its construction but the pipe foundation is an isolated foundation, right? So when you think of constructing buildings that are built upon columns, right? So if you think of bridges and piers and things like those, they utilize the pipe foundation. But a little further and we'll get in depth, right? The pile foundation and the raft foundation. Each of them have their own defining and distinctive characteristics, right? Now, the strip foundation. You, based on your study, right? You will be able to find, because I'm going to be giving you an assignment at the end of this. You'll be finding more details on the diagrams and the structures of the strip foundation. But just for visual aid, I'm going to be sketching a diagram on the board. Alright, All right, so this is our standard strip foundation. All right, now look at this diagram, right? This would be the overall structure or design of a standard strip foundation, right? Now, right here, what you will see is, and let me just highlight ground level. All right, so this right here is ground level. All of this right here, this section, this is below the south side or below um, ground level, right? Now, the strip foundation is designed in such a way that the load bearing wall, so this right here, this member, this would be the reinforced concrete block wall. So this is coming up out of the side, right? The concrete block wall would rest up on the base or footing of the strip foundation, right? 
and the footing would be made out of a mixture of concrete right and your various aggregates so it is casting below the surface right you would have your steel reinforcements within it just the same I wish I had a different color marker Alright, so these members right here, these would be a steel reinforcement. Steel reinforcement, right? And how the foundation operates, it would take imposed load, um, which would take into consideration the weight of the materials that are used to construct the building along with the various fixtures that you will also be applying so your furniture um, your various items within your household and even your own body weight as well and that imposed load right would be transmitted through the reinforced concrete black wall and it would be distributed evenly at different angles towards the lower line and much more stronger subside alright so the foundation acts in a way that firstly it distributes the load of the building and it should also be designed in such a way that it is able to resist um, various volatile chemicals and reactions within the soil such as sulfates and all of that so it must be built in such a way that it is durable and it should be strong enough that it anchors the building so whether it may be resulting of um, land slippage or earthquakes or whatever the natural disaster your foundation must be strong enough to anchor your building in place right? And the strip foundation, as we are looking at, it is commonly used in um, relevantly strong soil types. So if you're thinking about clay, right, or um, your, 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 your regular um, rocky type of soil, like soil that has a high load bearing capacity, right? This is where you would normally use the strip foundation. Right? And there are two variations to the strip foundation. You have regular or the standard strip foundation, and you have what is called the deep strip foundation. Now, when you're looking at the deep strip foundation, all that would happen is see this structure right here, the BSR footing, what they would do is they would construct the foundation in such a way that the footing the footing would go much deeper right the footing would go much deeper and that would result in your foundation um, having a much higher capacity for bearing and distributing loads because what happens now is that as the foundation, the deeper the foundation goes it is the more it gets to that stronger and more stable subsides beneath right? beneath the, 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 the surface of or beneath the ground level right? hope you're getting this, hope you understand it so that is the basis or the basics of the strip foundation Right. Remember to bear in consideration the design right, and where it is used. Right. So we said it is used at um, stronger and more stable soil types. And the design it is designed in such a way that the footing of your strip foundation should be designed at the width should be relevant to that of your concrete wall so this is your concrete black wall right here remember right here is your concrete black wall so what they would use to ensure that the width is accurate 
they would take 45 degree angles for those of you who do technical drawing 45 degree angles from the edges of your concrete block wall and that would allow whoever is designing the foundation to already re recognize the width of the footing or the standard width of the footing another way that you can use to determine this is you see the width of the reinforced concrete block wall on each side of the footing you must have at least that amount of allowance eh? so say for example your reinforced concrete block wall the dimension for it is 100 right on this side of the foundation you should have also 150 the other side 150 so overall you would have a dimension of 450 all right hope you're paying attention and that is the basics of the strip foundation all right